you love the flavor of cheesecake but not the effort of making one, this recipe for best no-bake cheesecake submitted by All Recipes member Debbie Clark may be the one for you. One member raves, this was the best no-bake recipe I've ever found. I made this in no time at all over Christmas and have not stopped making it. First, we'll make the crust, a classic graham cracker version. Add one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs into a small bowl. Add a third of a cup of packed brown sugar and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Stir together. Add a third of a cup of melted butter over the graham cracker mixture and stir it well. Press the crust into the bottom of an 8 or 10 inch springform pan. Chill it in the refrigerator until it's firm. Now for the batter. Squeeze enough lemon to make two teaspoons of lemon juice. Pour into a bowl with two eight ounce packages of softened cream cheese. Beat the mixture until it's soft. Pour in one pint of heavy whipping cream. And beat the batter with an electric mixer until it becomes thick. Add a third of a cup of sugar. And continue to beat the mixture until it's stiff. One All Recipes member describes this cheesecake as so light and just sweet enough. But if you have more of a sweet tooth, several All Recipes members suggest increasing the sugar to two-thirds of a cup. Pour the batter into the chilled crust. Top it with a 21-ounce can of cherry pie filling. Chill the cheesecake in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight. The waiting is the hardest part. Just before serving, place the cheesecake on a platter or cake stand and gently remove the sides of the springform pan. As Debbie Clark, who submitted this recipe, notes, this is good with any kind of canned or fresh fruit. Strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries would all work beautifully as well. Another All Recipes member named Love to Cook went a whole different route and topped it with a chocolate ganache instead. <laughs>